We're out on the water working with our Sea Keeper Ride system and really going through all the settings and making some, some fine tuning here before the season starts. See here, it's tied right into the NEBA 2000 network on my Lowrance. So I click on the ride icon and the display pops right up. We've got it in auto. I'll go ahead and get up on step here a little bit for you. And uh, you can see where the, the controllers are actually working right here to get us up on step. They're helping get us up on step. We can take it out of auto if we want right there. We can also use the keypad over here to do the same thing. I'll go ahead and click it on again right there. You can see we can make adjustments here. We can push the bow down in the auto settings. We can bring it back up here all the way. I can go port, starboard. It's a really intuitive display here. So you can tell exactly what's going on with the boat right in the display. But then what I really like here, and we've been playing with this here about the last hour and trying to figure this out. And I think we've got it dialed in is the trim command curve. And I think this is really going to help when we get a full load of customers on here. TCC right there, trim command curve. When we get a full load of customers and ice and everything else and fish, and we're pretty heavy on the low end, you can see the whole shot function right in here. So this is, I'll go ahead and pull it back here so we're not quite so bouncy. This is 40% trim at 10 miles an hour. Then when we get to 15 miles an hour, the trim backs off a little bit to 25. 20 miles an hour comes down even further. And then I've got it set to about 5% trim from 25 miles an hour on up through top speed, 45, 50 miles an hour. We've been playing with this and it seems to be about right. Now it's easy to make these adjustments. Let's go to, let's say, let's say 25 miles an hour. We want to increase the trim. We can do that easily right there. Go to 30 miles an hour, we're gonna bring the bow down to 30, we can do that. Earlier, we were playing with our hole shot and our top speed on the hole shot, we actually got it down to like, I think 5.2 seconds, zero to 30, playing with this lower end trim here. I think this is gonna be a great curve when we're loaded. We've got a lot of weight on board, customers and fish and ice and everything. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it's gonna be kind of hard to tell from the camera there, but we just popped right up on step. It's just forcing the stern up, getting the bow down, and we just planed out immediately. I just really think this Sea Keeper ride system is gonna be a huge benefit on the charter boat this summer. Uh, not only from the ride alone, just providing a more comfortable ride for the passengers and myself, but being able to play with this trim curve and just make adjustments on the fly as we get rolling and get more charters under our belt, I'll be able to make some adjustments along the way here. And we'll share some of that content with you throughout the season here in Alaska. We've already got some videos up as well on Live the Boat. And then you can see where I've got it. I've already got a split screen set up here on my Lowrance to where now I've got this intuitive display right here on the screen. If it gets foggy and I wanna put radar up here and not take a bunch of real estate up with this, we've got the control pad right over here on the side. So I can make the adjustments over here and I get this off the screen anyway. That's what's going on with the Sea Keeper Ride System. We're still learning, but the more I dive into that, the more I just think it's gonna be just awesome on the charter boat. Thanks for stopping by Live the Boat. As always, drop your comments and questions down below. We'll catch you next time.